Hello folks, this is Seishu, your host at TiffinCast. I'm with Jens and Sarah from Sweden, and they're here to talk a little bit about their project called I Am, which is on Indiegogo. Jens and Sarah, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, it's great. Now, I want to talk to you about, first of all, where are you located? Are you both somewhere remote right now? Is that is that the case? We're in the uh, south of Sweden right now, in the uh, forest at our our good friend's house. Okay, excellent. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit off off the beaten path, if you can say so. Yeah. I, now, are you both photographers? Are are you both involved in, in the photo field in some way? Well, I'm a photographer. Yes. And I'm within uh, the social media marketing uh, uh, industry. Excellent. So I'm a project manager uh, and have uh, almost four years of experience within social media marketing. So Excellent. that would be almost, yeah, my main role would be communication and uh, marketing for I am. Excellent. Excellent. Let's jump right into it. Tell me what, what motivated you both to start this project. Uh, first of all, I, I, I've been thinking a lot about doing something for my 30th birthday that was uh, a couple of weeks ago. Happy so, birthday! Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, a few months ago, or like six months ago, I started to think about doing something for that day. And then actually I met with Sarah. I was taking her, her portrait for another project. And we started to talk about different ideas and decided, I mean, the first first day we met to, to go through with this one. And I just got caught about uh, just bringing forth the creativity and individuality of these children and I thought like in the, immediately that this could be a big project. Excellent. It does sound like a very ambitious project. Uh, clearly you, you've got your, uh, your eyes set on helping and working with kids uh, around the world, but s definitely working in small groups at a time, right? Yeah, yeah. Can definitely. you describe, I mean, I know there's a video that, that uh, it's a beautiful explainer video, by the way, on your Indiegogo site. Um, it was recorded in a very late night, uh, <laughs> three, three o'clock in the morning. It's, it looks great. It looks a lot totally... A lot of coffee involved. <laughs> no, this looked like it, you had fun doing it, even though it was late at night. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about, like, how are the kids going to receive this? Have you already, do you already have a uh, sort of a, a trial that you've already conducted and seen this work in, in ways that you, you were just moved about, you know, and you felt like, okay, this is something that we need to do and scale I mean, is that, does that make sense? Do you feel like you've yep. done it one, in one place and you feel like, okay, this works here, let's take it to another place? We haven't actually done this particular project in, in, in this way anywhere. Uh, these three uh, first places that we're going to will be the pilot. And that's why we have chosen to, I mean, not, I mean the, the main goal is to, to let people in, in uh, worse situations than than us to tell their story in 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 from their their perspective mm -hmm. but so but we because it's the first time we don't want to go to the extremes we don't want to go to a, a war zone or a refugee camp uh, i mean first of all because it's 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 i mean people are always looking for that extremes you always have to be like on the edge to when you're doing something, so I mean, we want to do. We want to go to regular people, mm -hmm. living regular lives, mm -hmm. uh, and um, see what happens. Okay, it's so, also interesting to. I'm just thinking about how we live today with the social media, smartphones. We're so it's so easy to share one's identity and who we are, uh, and it's interesting to put cameras in the hands of those who only media talk for it right now and they don't talk for themselves so it will be very interesting to get their point of view just the ordinary life and bring forth the individual stories no that's fantastic i know i've been in touch with uh, a photographer photojournalist uh, in bangladesh who has very similar ideas where he, although he's not working with with children uh, his idea is to be able to train photographers in Bangladesh to be able to tell stories that Bangladeshis are experiencing, you know, and 
So the point of view shifts from uh, from the outside in rather than into a inside out kind of perspective. It's just interesting. Yeah. Um, so you you're looking to raise. Uh, I've got a euro sign here. It says six point oh seven five or six thousand seventy five euros, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what does that work out to in U.S. dollars? Do you know? I don't have my math. Thirty thirty three thousand, I think. Thirty three thousand uh, dollars, yeah. and you're looking to raise money specifically for cameras and for computers, correct? Yeah, man, that's that's the biggest part of, of the what we need money for. We also need for to develop the the, the website. Mm -hmm. We will be, uh, I mean, the website that is up right now is a pretty basic one because we have. We don't have any pictures to, to show. We don't have any projects ongoing, so we need to re rebuild the website to be able to show all the pictures, to be able to to, to, to give to give you the opportunity to directly communicate with the exactly. kids. Exactly. Some okay. social plugins to just have the social part there for communication between people who follow the blog and our kids who actually do the work. Excellent. Uh, and we also need, of course, uh, uh, funding for the travels. Uh, at the moment, no one of us is is uh, taking out any any salaries. Okay. Or, and I, I I won't do that. I, I will I will be able to to fund my work with the other kind of jobs I'm doing: travel photography and, sure. and commercial. Right. And uh, so right now we're we're not taking any money ourselves, and we hope okay. that we will don't have don't have to do that. Okay. No, no that makes sense. Absolutely. Um, how are you using social media? I'm curious about how social media plays a part in all of this. Can you tell me a little bit more about, about that? Yeah, of course. That's also because we just want to uh, reach out uh, internationally, of course, which social media, of course, is a great way to do. Mm -hmm. um, and it will be just... Uh, direct contact so through Instagram it will be instantly more behind the scenes uh, from our part and then Facebook we will use more to put up the children's images but also to tell stories about people who are we partner uh, together with so uh, it will be something where we can collect everyone who wants to involve in the project and to get people to follow what we uh, what we do. An important question for both of you how do you expect this to impact the life or the lives of children who are going to take part in this project? Uh, for the, I mean, the, the immediate uh, change will be that they have a way to express themselves, to a way to nurture their creativity. That would be the, I mean, the, the first thing that would happen. Uh, but I mean, our hope is to tell people around the world, people in in the Western countries, people, welfare countries, what the life, the real life is like in developing countries. Because I mean, the the the, the biggest reason that we started this project was, or at least one of the re big reasons was that we wanted to. I mean, as Sarah said, the media is taking away from a lot of people the the ability the I mean to, to tell their own story mm -hmm. our media our, our journalists I mean I'm a journalist myself and I'm a photographer but um, many times we are going to war zones we are going going to uh, different areas and we are we are telling what we are seeing sure from our perspective yeah. of course right. and that yeah, doesn't mean which... that, that you that is the right the right mm -hmm. picture Okay. So we also yeah, want to turn the stereotypes, of course, how we look at developing countries and people living in developing countries. Um, yeah, so it's a lot about the media picture and also about changing, uh, just bringing up the creativity and make the children's life more stimulating because it's uh, children who, of, especially as this three places where we're going, mm -hmm. is very, it's children who's maybe a bit under-stimulated uh, within creativity and and it's also a way of giving hope to them, more mm -hmm. self-esteem to get, mm -hmm. when we get 
the direct contact from people who give them uh, feedback and comments and greetings, then their self-esteem can uh, grow a lot. And that's what uh, we want to um, uh, contribute with as well. How many uh, photographers are you looking to work with in each place? How many children are you looking to select? Or have you thought about all that? On uh, we, we, will be, we will be, I mean, that, that depends on what place we're going to. Mm -hmm. uh, at least two of the places there will be 20 children okay. because we will have we will bring with us 20 uh, sets of equipment 20 cameras, 20 computers and we are discussing with one of the, the, the uh, destinations if we are able to do I mean two parallel uh, workshops during these 10 days or 14 days so we will do two groups with 20, 20 kids in every group. Okay. So this first run with the three places will be around uh, 60 to 80 kids. Uh, yeah. So and we will, I mean, we will also we will actually work with photographers on site. We will work with local photographers or local mm -hmm. creators mm -hmm. that can help us. I mean, first of all, if there is a language barrier, and I mean, second, we need we need people that know about the culture mm -hmm. to help us. Sure, sure, definitely. Uh, I, I, that was my lead-up question to you, so who's going to teach these courses? I mean, certainly you'd probably go and, and sort of oversee the project itself, yeah. but when you're out there having somebody local to be able to step up and talk to the kids in, in their own language might, not might, will be of great help to you. Um, so the, you've got three countries picked out. Which yep. which ones are those again? Uh, there's uh, an orphanage in Ukraine. Okay. There's a uh, uh, girls uh, girls school in Kenya, mm -hmm. and there's a child center in Ethiopia. Excellent. Okay. Okay. And we're, and we're working together with a, a Swedish uh, fund okay. called uh, New Hope, and that's how we managed to I mean, get in touch with the the local organizations because all of these three are of course local organizations is there a religious component to what you're doing no we we don't want to be religious or uh, okay no at all okay. or, or polit political or political okay no. okay well that's you know it's uh, wonderful talking to you and I, I'm, I hope the interview will inspire others who are we're going to watch this on my on my blog to be able to contribute to this wonderful project. I mean, I, I, I I'm, when you first wrote to me, Jens, I was like blown away by by the idea, the very idea of what it what it means what it means to be uh, a, uh, to put this to, this whole project together. It's, it's a rather ambitious ambitious project. Would you agree? Yeah, uh, but it's going to be. I mean, I, I I've been looking a long time, many years to for what I need in my life to, yeah. to feel good. And when we started to talk about this, I realized that this is what I've been, I mean, waiting for. This is what I've been missing in my life. Sure. I've been working for, I mean, I've been working commercially for seven or eight years. And I mean, that's a lot of fun, but you also need something to, I mean, that you do for, for yourself. Sure. But you sure. know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. Sarah, what do you get out of this project? What is it? What 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 do you have in, in stake for you? What's what's at stake been, for you? I I love just wor uh, working with uh, kids. I think uh, the creativity, the boundaries, how they think. There's no boundaries at mm -hmm. all. So I uh, it's just working with kids, uh, working with creativity, and uh, to see what comes out of it. This it will uh, be very interesting, and I love. To bring forth individualities, what and that's what you don't see in developing countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just think it's very interesting. And of course, I'm uh, fond of how you can get uh, people to interact with people all over the world. So that will be so interesting to follow. That's fantastic. It's be really interesting because our our goal isn't to go in and teach them how to take pictures. I mean, we will actually just just travel there. Tell them to to put the the camera strap around their neck so they won't drop the camera, and then see what happens. Because okay. I mean, as, as as Sarah said, I mean, we if we try to 
pull them in an unintended direction. We've tried to steer them, and we put our way of taking pictures on them. We will ruin a lot of the result. Sure. I mean, we should just let them do their thing and yeah. help them if we feel it's yeah. convenient. Okay. And we also hope there will be a lot of interaction between yeah the people who actually follow the project to be able to maybe form the project a bit, to be allowed to come in and form the children's project and how they're going to take photographs. and. So. Excellent. That's, Excellent. that's a big part. That's a big part. During the project, we want everyone to be able to... I mean, we will upload the pictures as, as soon as we can, mm -hmm. and we want everyone to to go to the website to comment on the pictures and send video greetings, mm -hmm. and we will we will just uh, give those comments to the kids so that they can they can reply, and there will actually be conversation about the lives uh, of the kids and I mean the lives of us here. Sure, sure. So that's a big. That's a big part. Uh, are the images themselves uh, that that the kids will be creating? Are, uh, will that be something that you are going to possibly sell uh, in any way, or find a way to, uh, you know, you know, monetize in any way that so that the kids get the money back, or you know, we're actually uh, right now in the the summer house of our editor, the guy who's going to. Uh, to make the book for us. There's a pretty, pretty new, new publishing house called uh, the New Heroes and Pioneers in, in, in south of Sweden. Uh -huh. And they've agreed to, to do the book uh, without any costs. Oh, even, wow. the printing, even the printing is sponsored, so Excellent. all the proceeds will go back to, to I Am. Okay. And, yeah, and we're also doing, uh, we were also teamed up with a Swedish stock photo agency. Okay. So they will sell the pictures. They will create a new uh, selection, mm -hmm. and they will sell the pictures mm -hmm. through them and through. They have they have fifty resellers all around the world. Sure. And also here, the full full proceeds will go back to I am. Wonderful. And uh, and the uh, the thing with the book will also be uh, one of our um, rewards or a big deal of our rewards. Um, the ones who goes in as sponsors have the, the possibility to give away the I am books, so they can choose a school in their country or wherever they want to give uh, ten books to a, uh, a school to also let them get the get the um, insight the from it, yeah, yeah the picture of how these uh, other children lives. Absolutely. So uh, that's what also we want to the book to be a big part of how it can change the way people around the world see these uh, children. Looks like there is lots of layers to this project. It right? is, and we, we haven't <laughs> figured it all out yet. So well, that's it's nice that you're honest about it. I know it's uh, you know a lot of these projects come together uh, when opportunities sort of present themselves. Uh, and some people just step up and say, okay, well, we'll fund the, the book project or we'll fund the cameras or we'll fund the, the computers or whatever it is. And then you go to the next level and try and do something different. That's wonderful. I mean, really, I, I applaud you both for, for doing this. Uh, I certainly wish you both uh, tremendous success. And I'll do my part in putting the word out about this project. Thank um, so you. I look forward to doing that very soon. I know you've got 12 days left. So I'm going to work on getting this video up on my, my site uh, probably in a couple of days, okay? Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to us. Bye.